I just think defensively, and I'm, I'm, again, I'm not trying to throw shots at Arsenal fans here, yeah? Um, defensively, that whole, lot, that whole back line needs, you need a whole revamp. I think it's a shambles, personally. I think, I think if like, you don't shot your defence, as a, because they even say like. Now, now I know why a man wanted to get into it. He wants to lean into <laughs> Arsenal. No, 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 wait. He wants to no, lean no, no, in. No, 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 pew, pew, no, pew, no, pew. Bridging up work here. Yeah. <laughs> Avid Arsenal supporter, yeah. I don't want to name his name, but he knows who he is. Will he see this? You he have to put it out there. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we're back for the next part of the show. And um, yeah, man, let's get back into it. Mm. So what I wanted to talk about in this topic would be the key areas that the sort of top six, yeah. we can't go through the whole league. So yeah. we're going to focus on the top six teams, the key areas that we feel that they need to strengthen. So first, I'm going to go over to my man, John, to discuss and talk about the key areas that he feels that Liverpool need to strengthen in so that they can push on to try and win the league. <laughs> yeah, so take it away. So, um, I think one of the kind of most obvious areas of our team where we kind of lack uh, strength is at left-back. Um, if Andy Robertson um, gets injured tomorrow, uh, it means that James Milner's playing there. Right? Mm. We, don't wanna, we don't really want to see James Milner playing there. It means that Joe Gomez is playing there. We don't want to see a Gomez playing yeah. there. Mm. So there's no kind of backup alternative if he if he's out long term you, you do not want James Miller yeah. playing there for the next 38 yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah you just, you just you don't need, want, you need if, a if we're trying to attack. right yeah, you know yeah. so for, for me that's probably first and foremost some people will say for us it's probably a, a centre back uh, I don't think so I think we've got enough strength um, in depth yeah going off what that. you said before you've got enough centre backs yeah, yeah so I think we've got enough cover there um, and we need cover for the front three you know mm. we still haven't really got an out and out Strike what people think that we need. Sorry, say, say now, you got Big Shaq and you got Divock Origi. Origi came up big in, in big games right. last year. Let me say something about um, Origi, yeah? Yeah. Cult hero, yeah? yeah? Love him to bits, right? But please know, the goals he scored were his only shots on target. <laughs> yeah? The goals he scored were his only shots on target. No yeah? way. Let that sink in <laughs> and then come back to me and say you want him yeah. to be starting for you just yeah, 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 yeah. his only shots on target but I mean so, to be fair I mean when don't get me wrong yeah. obviously if he's doing if he's doing but he doesn't want to do that all the time no yes. no no, no. Do do I think time? he's dead yeah. I think like, Origi's dead he just, just signed a new contract he's did he? Yeah, yeah yeah he just signed a new contract like, we all have eyes yeah. we all have eyes we can yeah. see he's not that good yeah. it's a bit like Henderson like I'll be honest with you I love Henderson I love him yeah but I can see with my eyes that he's not that good of a player. Yeah. No. I'm not, yeah, I'm not yeah, dumb to that. I'm not, you, do you see what I'm saying? So for me to sit there and rely on Devic Origi for the rest of the season, if, if Salah or Firmino's game, I'll be worried. Yeah, I'll be yeah, worried. Yeah, yeah. And then he wants to say that, that, they, that they wouldn't be, oh, because we've got big um, um, thing. What? Like, what are you talking about? Do you see what I'm saying? So we need cover. We need that cover. If Salah gets injured, do you want Shaq playing on the right? No, you don't. Mm. You don't want Shaq. You don't want Oxley either. You don't want Lallana playing there. So we need cover. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So to me, it's imperative that we get a left back, it's imperative that we get another forward or or, or um, a striker. Because yeah. we've, we've just lost Daniel Sturridge, so there's not that yeah. quality mm. really and truly coming, not that we were using him that much last season, you know, but that level of quality ain't there. Mm. You know, like, if, if you say, like, a reach on the bench, does he strike fair into no. our defensive teams? I would take no. it. But if you say Daniel Sturridge is might, you, he, that goal he scored against Chelsea last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. Star is still, and he's still, still, he's, he's still, he's still against PSG last year. He can year. still do like, bits, man. Do you see what I'm saying? So for me, the two main key areas for us, left back and another forward. Yeah, yeah good shots. 100%. Good shots. 100%. So, again, leave a comment, guys. What do you think that Liverpool, or where do you think Liverpool need to strengthen? Um, I, I agree with you. I think they need to strengthen in those type of areas. But Tottenham... Looking at Tottenham now, what, what do we reckon that you lot need? Where do you uh, lot need to strengthen? Well, it'll be it'll be interesting to see what happens with the wing backs. Obviously, Trippier's gone now, um, so he went to Athletic Madrid, and that just happened like that. 
literally yeah. not interested. Mm. He was up for sale. Boom, he was gone. Twenty million. So the price of twenty one point six million, something on, along those lines, it goes to show that we wanted them out. There was no silly buggers, no messing about. Oh, we want thirty five, want forty, we want is twenty million. Take it. See you later. It's proper cheap so, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very cheap considering he's twenty eight. Was it basically England starting right back up until recently? Uh, our starting right back, but it just goes to show that he he wasn't levels. And I mean, I've been saying it all season. He's not. I didn't trust him. He was error for So you lot gonna bring somebody yeah. in now? Well, you it's reckon? looking like Poch is probably gonna run with um Foyf. Really? At yeah. right back? I what? So. I, I have I have this funny feeling. At right back? Yeah, that Poch is gonna what? trust him Foyf in right back. He the way you play, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Sorry to cut to cut yeah. in. The way you play, you need a better right back. I know. Foyf. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, that's yeah. not even me trying yeah. to throw. I'm being. The way you yeah. play with the fullbacks it's, being yeah, so yeah, kind yeah. of, they're part of your attack, much yeah, like us. No, that's no, why they, I say they offer that. that width and they offer that, you know what I mean? Yeah. That extra pass, that extra cross, that extra build yeah. up from the back. The modern day wing, wing back play, now, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah. But to be fair to, to Foyf, I've seen him come in and I've seen him have better games than Kieran Trippier. Oh, right, right, right back. Okay. Foyf can beat a man. Trippier could not beat a man to save his oh, life. Oh, okay. The only, thing, the only thing I rated Trippier was he had a cute diagonal pass across a player. He could, cross ball well. he could cross he a ball. He could cross a ball yeah. as well, yeah, of course. Ball, yeah. But he couldn't beat a man. Foyf is very good on the ball. Uh, watching a bit of the Copa America as Foyf held his own. Was there. he playing right back he was playing, for Argentina? Yeah, he was starting yeah, right back for Argentina. Yeah, he, was, he did yeah, a good yeah. job. They got to, I mean, they got to the semis. They lost that. They ended up finishing third. And Foyf did a job there. It's, obviously, I don't know how good he's going to be over the course of a season at right back. He's not a specialist right back yet. Uh, it's it, it's going to be left to be seen if we do get a specialist right back in. But I do know that if not, Poch isn't that concerned because he's got Foyth and uh, Walker Peters. So we have to see. So, I mean, to be fair, I would like a specialist right back. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So I, I, like, I would like, yeah, I would like a quality specialist right back. And you back. can't rely on Oreo. Yeah. That guy is... Yeah, I know. Serge Oreo. Oh, yeah, I've actually forgot. I forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, I've said more for Peters. I forgot about right. him. That, what? That, that says it all. The fact that I forgot about him. Right. He's wild. He's rash. Yeah. The only thing I'll give Oreo is that he's an athlete. <laughs> but other than that, I do not rate him as a footballer. And the wow. thing is, I was excited when we signed him for PSG. I was like, yeah, we've got this guy. You know, he was starting for PSG. He was doing this, he was doing that. He's a bit wild, but he'll come in. Poch will do this and that with him. It's not worked out so far. They do say statistically that your third season is your uh, best season at a new club. Okay. So you never know. This season could be the making of him. But from what I've seen, I wouldn't bet my house on it. I'm not confident of him being our right back. I'd definitely put Foyth ahead of him. Foyf is better on the ball, more intelligent, better passer, better everything mm. than, than Oya, and that says it all. But yeah, so right back, I do think we need a, a, a real quality second striker. Lorente, I'm... Um, you just signed a new contract, so you... Uh, you well, no, you it's not... One. I don't know if he has yet. I know we oh. let him go. I, I know we let him go, we released him. Oh. And then there's talks that we will re-sign him. But the fact that we released him and then we we sign him will mean he'll he'll be signed on lower terms, basically. Okay. So he might not be on hundred K a week, he might be on like 50, 60, 70, whatever it is. Okay. So it's better for the club in that sense. But uh I know he's also looking at his options because uh Lorente is a decent striker and he could do bits somewhere else. Uh, mm. but I don't rate him as our second striker, man. If yeah. if Kane goes out, again, like you were saying about Divo Carigi, I'm not confident having Lorente starting games yeah. for, yeah. You knowing where the goals are gonna come from. Yeah. Son is a brilliant wide player striker, second striker, whichever, but you need a specialist striker, man. If we're going to do well, what the we way you do, guys, The way yeah. you guys want to play, I think like, I, I think that's kind of where Spurs will struggle for you because you have Harry Kane. Mm. Now, Harry Kane is not just your standard striker. He's an elite, top goal scorer. Yeah, machine. yeah. Elite. Yeah, so what that, what that then, what that happens is a player that you might be interested in, mm. we'll look at the Spurs and be like, well, I'm not going to start because yeah, 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 Harry yeah. Kane's there. Yeah. That's mm. the first thing, yeah? So you have to find a player that wants to basically say, I'm okay sitting on the bench. Yeah. Two, has to have, has to also be of the, not necessarily the same level of quality as Harry Kane, but has to be as effective as Harry Kane. That's mm. it. And, and also, that's hard. That, a player like that, to me, is very hard to find. And third, as well, of key oh, they have to be mentally ready because you know you're not going to play every game, but when you're called upon, you've got to come in and deliver. And we've seen many quality players that you know have got that quality, but if they're not playing week in and week out, they can't just switch it on like that. Mm. You've got guys like, I mean, if you're looking at, historically, that uh, Oli Gola uh, Solskjaer, you knew he wasn't going to start every game, but yeah. when he came on, he switched he's, on. he's switched on, yeah. ready to score. You know I mean, you need players like that at that level that you know know they're not going to play week in week out, 
or even if they get 10 minutes or 20 minutes, they come in and they do a job. But you know you know why you lot will struggle, or I think you lot will struggle to get them type of players is because you've got Jesus at City, yeah? yeah. He's happy to sit on yeah, the bench yeah. because City are winning. Yeah. When you're a part of a squad that's winning, it's, it's easy for yeah, you to sit on the bench. Good, it's, it's and good, and that's good. where I think you will be struggling. You lot will be, it will be difficult for you lot to bring in that, because you, like you say, it has to be of, of quality. Yeah, yeah, so to, to bring in that man to then say, it's either... I'm going to push and fight for a spot, yeah. but the, everybody knows Harry Kane ain't going to yeah. sit down. He's five in the world. He, he ain't going to sit not, down. You're so not, you're, you're not going to start. And, and if, if he can come back and start for the Champions yeah, League Champions final League when final he shouldn't have, you, yeah, you ain't got no hope. Yeah, you got yeah. no chance. So that's, that's where I think you lot struggles because a man's going to come in and be like, what am I coming there for? It's not like we're going to be winning well, this, winning that. Saying that you, do get, you will get minutes. There's enough cup competitions, there's yeah. enough games, there's enough time. You can't rely You can't rely on cup competitions. you've got to also look, Harry Kane shouldn't be playing 90 minutes week in, week out. No, you every shouldn't. Single thing. So you've also got to manage players. Obviously, yeah. that's why players get injured when they're overexerted and overstretched. So again, Poch has got to be brave and sometimes say, "Kane, get off. I need to rest you for the next yeah. game. Yeah. You need to be ready." Because I do think that if Harry Kane says he's ready, Poch will play him, and that shouldn't be the case. Harry Kane should not have started that Champions League final. And I said that. I mean, uh, but you know, hindsight yeah. is twenty twenty. No, no. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm of the believer that if he didn't start, if he didn't start him, and and you and you lost, yeah, he would have been, he would have been vilified for it. Yeah, so he, he was. Do you for, reckon for, for, for Poch, catch twenty two? In my opinion, no, nah, man. I, the I, guy, I, the guy has got you to the final yeah. by scoring a hat trick, not just an yeah. idiot hat trick as well. You know, that was a bad boy hat trick. Yeah, you got to go with him. Yeah, in my and 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 and. and, and to, uh, to go back as well, you just look at the history. When you bring Harry Kane back in the team straight away, it, 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 it takes so and then they they start performing yeah. badly. Yeah, yeah. So going by that and going by the fact yeah. that my man has actually got you to the final, yeah. you got to, you got to go happy. with him, man. I wasn't yeah. happy when I saw Harry. I, I was start, shocked. Yeah. I was shocked that I mean, Harry Kane. Start. I was, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Obviously, I was happy because yeah, I, I kind of knew. know that. Yeah, exactly. That, you know, but at the same time, I, I still think Poch would have been. He was in a, to me, between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I hear that, because I hear that, if, I hear if, that. If he'd have started Lucas and they lost, you should have started Harry Kane. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, yeah. If he's fit enough on, on the bench, he's yeah. fit enough to start. Yeah, right? that's it, yeah. that's, that's what it, they yeah, said, yeah, that's what they would have said. That's what he would have been, so either Harry way. Harry one of the best strikers in the world. 100%. They're going to say, they're going to say, they're going to slaughter him. So I think he did the best thing that he thought. And, you know, like, I think, Hindsight is twenty twenty, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it is good to kind of say that like, okay, Lucas he had an amazing game. He, he helped you guys get there. But if Harry Kane is, you know, it's that thing of if he's a little bit fit and he can play, put him on yeah. because he gives you that much more of a chance of winning. Yeah. Unfortunately, Lucas doesn't give you that. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I hear, I hear that. that. I hear that. I hear that. So we need a second striker, um, probably someone young, someone young, hungry, ready to prove themselves. I don't think it'll be someone established. I don't want someone that's slow, stiff, and old. And you need like Lorente. Yeah, like Lorente. You need that youth from Leverkusen. Uh, Havertz. Okay, okay. Havertz, he's like 20 years old. Yeah. Banging in goals. Yeah, that's, that's all. We need someone that's like that. That's what you need, yeah. Like, that, them kind of players. Yeah. Not like necessarily... Because so, he still like, will step up for him yeah, to come so, to the Premier League. I'm not player, saying yeah. for you guys to go out and buy, say like, not that you would, but say like a Griezmann. Yeah. Exactly. Do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you don't, you, you don't yeah. need a, a, another light for that. What you need is a player that's... Hungry, hungry mm. young, yeah, and, you know, ready, and, and, and got the skill and ready there to you prove go. himself, and that way they're happy to, Do you know, what I'm you know like be part of and the it's, team it's and, a, and, and, yeah. and, and come in. Because um, because a player like that wouldn't be worried if you're winning or losing. He's yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, yeah, true, exactly. That's true, 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 true. Yeah. So so um so so yeah, that's why we need to strengthen and yeah. So um, right back, left and um, left back is an interesting one as well because um if Danny Rose does go, then uh. Then you was talking about Sessignon, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, we were talking about Sessignon. That's not an area that you lot need to strengthen yeah. at the moment unless... But I, I would say, I would say 100% right back, second striker. Yeah. That's it. And then if Ericsson does go as well, because there's now talks that he's been offered a really good contract and he might stay. He's going to stay. The offers that haven't come in They ain't come in. He's going to um, stay, And, and I he think. might sign a new contract. So if he stays, then brilliant. If he doesn't, then obviously we need to replace him. So if I'm talking two key areas, because we'll keep it brief in that sense... Definitely a right back and uh, definitely a second, a better second striker. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys leave a comment and let us know what you think. Do you think that, do you agree with Pat that it's a right back and a second striker is the key areas where you think that Spurs need to strengthen in other areas as well? Now I'm going to talk about my guys at Manchester United. Get me. Big boys. <laughs> um, we need a hella strengthening, hella areas. Um, 
But, you know, at the end of the day, we've already brought in Rambasaka. Aaron Rambasaka, yeah. Great quality player. Big, and, and he's already improved us. Mm. Already. Rare. Already. You, you watched him play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've watched we, both we, pre-season we watched, games. We watched one of the games last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, okay, yeah man. Yeah. And, and now, before we were left side dominant, we would never do anything on the right side. Yeah, yeah. Now... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The goal come from the, from the right side. Hey. My man PP played that killer <laughs> pass. Aaron Wambasaka's got an assist and Greenwood has tucked it in. So, yeah, we've already strengthened that area. I think it is of huge importance. If this can find you, Oli, if this can find you, Ed, it's of huge importance that you bring in a centre-back. I don't want to hear none of this talk about we've got... To, um, Tunzebi there and all of the, we've got Bailly there players I do rate by the way but it's of huge Bailly's importance the, that's, the that's it it's that huge importance yeah. that we bring in a centre back because it's it's been proven that Bailly can't work because he's always injured right. yeah. we can't rely on Calamity Jones <laughs> and and Smalling Smalling is a good backup man to come in. To, he was meant to be the next Rio Ferdinand people. I know, that's crazy. When you look at it now... Well, I mean, Rick, Smalling and Jones, when we both bought oh. them, they were meant to, they meant to be the next centre-back partnership yeah, yeah. for the next 10 that's years it, and crazy. be the England... Yeah. Uh, but again, Jones, uh, Calamity you know Jones, I'm, always I'm injured. So sorry, Chris Smalling, I feel like you need to move. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel looking at you as a footballer <laughs> and... He's stealing a living. You look like a footballer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he don't play I, like he one. He don't play like one. He feels like he's got two left feet. Uh, I just don't see Jesus. where people were. I don't know. Maybe he was just young and quick, and he was very tall when he was younger, wasn't he? Yeah. So maybe he was ahead of his kind of his level. But how was he when he was at nineteen for this long? That's the thing. Yeah, he's and still at a top club a top, for this long. Exactly. He would not start. At many teams, yeah, I know. He wouldn't but you know what? Wolves. He wouldn't start at Brighton. No. He wouldn't start at Everton. When you look at this, would he start at West Ham? <laughs> Probably not. No, no, no. Look, 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 <laughs> look, he he right does right he, he does not play like a footballer. Like right man right. runs around the ball to kick it that way. As a man that can use both feet, yeah, yeah, yeah I would just level. left foot yeah. pop it off over there. But what I would say is is in big games actually you can actually depend on him in certain games. Well, I say you can't depend on him. He he pulls out a, a performance yeah, yeah. in in a lot of big games yeah. with a lot of strikers. Yeah. He's done that against Aguero. He's done it yeah, against yeah, Kane. Yeah, yeah. So Just yeah. every now and again. If you give him one job to do, he'll do it. Yeah, yeah. The rest of it, I don't. But know yeah, he's 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 not levels, man. Like for me, Lindelof is is levels. Yeah, I very, think very I, I think he if he had if Lindelof was playing with a VVD then Lindelof yeah. would look miles, yeah. miles better. He needs he needs a next man next to him. So I'm all for Harry Maguire coming in if we can get him. And I don't really care about the price tag. Like a lot of people thinking we're getting bumped and all of that. Obviously, the lit's gone to Juve for, was it, 65 mil yeah. and that. Look, we're not going to get the lit. We're in, the lit is like one of the best players around. Yeah, yeah. 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 and, and, yeah. and we're, we're in Europa. Do you know what I mean? If we actually made the Champions League, then they, there probably was a high chance that we could yeah. actually 100%. have got, yeah. got the lit. But it's your club in terms of the stature. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you exactly. Can, you can put in players, but right now it's right really now. tricky because but yeah. but we're we're a step up for Harry Maguire. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We've got to worry about City because City we'll get on to City anyway. But yeah, for me, centre back. We need a centre back. 100%. The other positions is 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 really tricky. We 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 need a right winger, and we've needed a right winger for like six years. Easily. And you we had Valencia playing there for a little bit, didn't you? And that, didn't well, Matt, 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 Matt has come in and yeah. Matt predominantly operates on the right. Yeah. Matt don't operate in his position of playing in a number, yeah, number 10. 10. Which is an art that's dying, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Dying, so. But we need a right winger and it doesn't look like we're going to get one. Um, where, where, we need, where will, I would say we need another central midfielder will, more than a right winger. 100, 100, 100, 100%. Talking about wingers, where would that new guy, Dan James, play is he going to be a, a right winger? So this is, this is a conversation that I was having with my mate uh, and my brother yesterday is because he's he operates from the left. Okay. okay. But we're like, oh. you can't bring in him and then have Martial sitting on the bench. Yeah. yeah. But then I'm now thinking that we're probably, I don't think that we're going to buy a striker. I think Lukaku's going to go mm. and that we're going to play players like Rashford and Martial, who's yeah. actually a striker. Yeah. Rashford's a striker. Um, we've got Greenwood, who is a bad boy, top, top, top shooter. He's going to come through. 
So I don't think we're going to buy a striker. And I'm actually, I wouldn't include that in I'm my, in my about, areas. Are you not worried about not having a recognised... Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not, you know, because Martial is actually our top goal scorer at the club. Season? Yeah, he was. No, no, at, at, at the club currently, yeah. Martial is our top goal scorer. Okay. He scored more goals than anybody else. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, 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 and his... his um, oh, let me get this right now. There's, there's oh, what was the statistic now? His shot, like his conversion, oh, was was as good as oh, who was it? Urgh, it's gonna get on my nerves now. It was one of the top strikers, uh, like a Harry Kane or a Salah or someone. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember which. I can't remember which one it was. I'm gonna have to dig that out, and then I'll and I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. But yeah, his conversion is as good wow. as that. Wow. So I didn't know that. Yeah, neither did I. Martial in front of goal is ice cold. Yeah. You you can feel comfortable with okay. him. Mm. With Rashford, if he's snappy, you can feel comfortable. When Rashford's got too much time to yeah, think, that's when, that's yeah. when you worry yeah. about there him. Was, a lot. There was even a start I think, when it came in a group about Rashford basically. Yeah, yeah. Like that was you, misses, you put it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he misses a lot of chances. He shot conversion. A lot of chances. Yeah, I was shocked to say. I was shocked. I like Rashford. I think he's a quality young player. I love watching him. He's one. Well, no, Pogba's my favorite player. That would be a lie. And Rash was my second favorite United yeah. player. I love watching those two. But I was shocked when I saw eleven percent. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. believe that's it. one in ten chances. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's bad. So, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. That's not good enough, man. It's not good enough. I was, so you need a. So what are you saying? You need a winger. Uh, yeah, or a striker, I'm, or I'm, like I'm not a forward type player. I'm, no, no, no. I'm not worrying about the striker position. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not actually worried. And and the winger side of things now, we're not going to get one. I, I would focus more on. Bringing in a centre back and bringing in a central midfielder, okay. a central midfielder to help you my man PP play. You, and you've got to drop Matic. Yeah, tell me. Stiff. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. They've still yeah. got Matic and Herrera's gone. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, Herrera's that. gone. Yeah, yeah. Don't even. Herrera's gone. We ain't even got enough like, time for me to really about get in. Tomine. He's another player that I'm like, don't. You know that. You, the best way for me to describe this is like, you know when people try to force things on you, like, 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 <laughs> I'm not going to say certain groups, yeah. but you know them ones there, they yeah. try, certain players, I feel like they're trying to force them on us, yeah. but the look, I can see, we can, I can see too, we've all got eyes, and to me, he's one of those players for me, I don't think, he's good enough to be starting week in week out of Man United you know, you know, you know what me, yeah. personally it's a, t- a it's, a t- it's a tough it's a tough one it's a tough one Scott McTominay you know I was like you John I was like you I was like no it's kind of Scott McTominay da 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 but man performs like really? yeah bruv when he's Scott one of them shirt when, kind of when like, Scott Ma- shirt kind of when Scott McTominay plays he can perform man and he's doing bits when okay. he do, like so I'm he he's, he swayed me. I ain't gonna lie to you. He well, swayed me. I don't I don't I don't I don't think that um I don't know. I'm I'm still on the fence with Scott McTominay. Okay. But I'm like you're saying, Matic can't be playing. Can't Matic can't needs to be dropped. Yeah, because what then too that, slow. Yeah. The, the unfortunate thing about Matic is that he's a, he's at an age now where his legs are kinda of gone. Yeah. And I think when you play with a guy like Pogba, I think he's a sort of player that yeah, he will take responsibility. So what I mean by that is that if he sees that there's gaps he's more likely to go in and fill it mm, because yeah. the player, as in Matic, isn't yeah. doing his job yeah, yeah, or, or yeah, really yeah, doing yeah. their job. And, and so what then happens, yeah. his performance then suffers. Exactly. Yeah, he's still, what was it? He got 13 goals? Yeah, and top goal scorer, yeah. top assist. Like, and yet so people, people want to get on his back. Like, anyway, that's a topic for another discussion. Like, yeah, another yeah, day. for real. But I'm just saying, like, mid, you, like you, to me, you need two central midfielders. Yeah, because we've lost Herrera now. We already Herrera. needed a midfielder before, yeah. and now we've lost Herrera. We need, like you're saying, we need two. And then if we lose Pogba, we need four. <laughs> Do you know? Gonna go. No, I don't it think he's guy now. I don't think he's guy now. But there's, you just never know what's going to happen yeah. in it. Yeah. But if I was to focus on two key areas now, I'll okay. say centre back, go and get this Maguire deal done. And central midfielder. Let's let's try and would get you, this Bruno Fernandez. Like oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We've been li- we've yeah. been linked with him for so yeah. long now, Bruno yeah. Fernandez from oh, Sporting. That one? Yeah. yeah, we've been linked with him. Like there's other things that I follow, and they've been saying this has been done from long time. Da, 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 da. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's some like we're waiting for the domino effect yeah, of this player to go yeah, and all of that stuff. Yeah. I thought that but, happened with Griezmann actually. Yeah. 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 When when Griezmann got signed by Barcelona, and who who else is? Because it meant to, because obviously I thought the, the Coutinho was meant to go to PSG, yeah, and yeah, it would have meant exactly. uh, Neymar was gonna go back to, yeah. like just that kind of domino effect, kind of you know I was waiting for, for yeah. time and stuff like that. So. so what do you lot think? Would you lot 
put any other players in or we're we're looking at two key areas so do you not think do you not agree with me or do you think that um United should focus on some other areas um yeah man so last topic of the day are we going to quickly talk on before Arsenal. yeah we're going to talk on the rest of the top six so you got Arsenal well, I don't think we got time uh, we ain't got time we sure? ain't got time we ain't got time okay cool uh, yeah we've been we've, we've been, been chatting about we've been chatting about yeah, thing yeah, for so, for yeah, long yeah, yeah. so we're going to have to bring that in next okay. week yeah. into the next week show um so oh you know let's just quickly talk let's about yeah, 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 five minutes five yeah, minutes yeah. so, uh, let's let's touch on arsenal yeah well, we've got the cameraman here yeah. in it just quickly just give us two positions that you think are important to, that you need to get cover for next season what, for arsenal yeah so two, back two defenders. Two defenders. <laughs> <laughs> two. <laughs> I thought Socrates was backs. I thought so. I thought Socrates was the guy. Though. Yeah. I thought he was meant you to know be the guy. He had a really good game against us. To be fair, yeah. really good game against us at um, at the Emirates when they beat us four two. You know what? Arsenal, Arsenal man, are, are like we're all right with him. Yeah, they're, so they're happy. Okay. I, I don't. I'm not. I, I don't rate him. Yeah. But, but they're happy with okay. him. They're happy with him. I, I just think defensively, and I'm, I'm again. I'm not trying to throw shots at Arsenal fans here. Yeah. Um, defensively, that whole lot, that whole back line needs you need a whole revamp. I think it's a shambles, personally. I think, yeah, I think if like, you don't start your defense as a, because they even say like, now, now I know why man wanted to get into it. He wants to <laughs> lean into <laughs> Arsenal. No, 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 wait. He wants to no, lean no, in. No, no, pew, 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 pew. No, no, pew. I'm bridging up work here. <laughs> Avid Arsenal supporter. Yeah. I don't want to name his name, but he knows who he is. Will he see this? You, you have to put it out there. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. And um. I said, like, as a starting point, your back, your your defence is a shambles, mm, as Pat said. Yeah, yeah. And I just think, like, if you can't even stop the goals from going in it, forget what you're scoring yeah, at that yeah. end. Yeah, yeah. If you can't stop the ball from going back in the net, there's no point in you even playing the game, yeah. really and truly. Yeah. Stop the ball from going back in the net, then you're in with a chance of winning the game. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? You can't always score four so, or five goals. You can't. You know, three goals to win the game. You can't. So it's so it's so not a blueprint. Yeah, you can't. It's not yeah. a blueprint yeah. to work from. So defensively, I just think, like, that they have to just, once they sort that out, then you can build on that. Oh, talking about that, I've, I'm hearing big talk that Rob Holden is meant to be, you know, they're, they're comfortable. I like him. Yeah, but I like, like him. And he's, he's getting a full pre-season now. I like him. Yeah. So, yeah. so they're saying that he could potentially be that guy. So if you've got Socrates and Holden, that possibly could be there too. Yeah. Okay. yeah. To me, so, to me that, that's, not, that's not levels. Yeah, to me, so. that's not levels of a team like Arsenal. But, well, but yeah, again, in a team like yeah. Arsenal... They're not really all that anymore, in it. So maybe mm, it is the level. Okay, what it is, not what it used to be. Yeah, right yeah. Right now, Arsenal, they ain't that team anymore. Do you know what I mean? If you're looking at the top four, top five, top six, I'll possibly say Arsenal the worst team out of the top six right now. Yeah. You could argue, even, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for even sure. With for all sure. Of Man uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's what I said. That's, that's what I said to Jason that's last that's week that his yeah. top four shout was wild. <laughs> in my opinion, is wild because I just I'm just like Arsenal are banner FC for a reason. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ink. They are the original, like they, like you say, they're a shambles, man. And yeah, they need a, they need a lot of strength in it. Sort of defense. Yeah. So the defense. And then. To be fair, attacking wise, they they're cool, innit? Yeah, they're always good. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Sort of the defense. They've they've got a good keeper, Leno, and I give them that. But this, I think, time and time again, their defensive, their defensive, um, uh, uh, like frailties have been obvious. Yeah. It's a little bit like us. Our goalkeeper was right. We, we went out and got a new one. Yeah. Our centre backs were right. We went out and got another. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like just it, I, I like Bellerin, but he's, is he is he no, good no, enough? No, I don't is he so. no, no, is he good enough? No, no, I don't is Morial? So. I like him. I like him as a player. No. Is he good enough? No. For, for Arsenal? Yeah. No. Yeah. Let's be honest. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, so if they want to see change, I think they need to just the whole back line just needs to just change it all, mm. and then start from there, build from there. You know, like sort of your defence, and then we can. Hopefully, see the Arsenal of old, you know. All right. And then Man City, do, do they really need to strengthen or? Um, they need the centre back now, innit? Because they've lost company. But so they, they, they still, still got Otamendi. I heard Pep say yesterday that um, uh, uh, what's his name now? There, I can't believe this is getting my mind. But their defensive midfielder, their top guy. Uh, the Fernandinho yeah Fernandinho that's it he can come in and do a job at centre back that's what, mm-hmm. that's what Pep was saying well he's a year older as well yeah. and that's what people are forgetting as well like he's not going to be as a he, naturally Dynamic. with age yeah, you, yeah. 
to decline. Yeah. So he's not going to be as effective as a player. As, and he was, to me, super important to them mm. uh, last season. But they brought so in Rodri they've got Rodri that. Yeah. So, yeah, so Pep saying that he doesn't really mind if they don't buy anyone or don't bring anyone else. I don't think they need to because yeah. when you accumulate, what is it they've got? 197 points over, over the, the last, last two seasons. seasons. Oh, no. That's crazy. What, what are you really, and that's what, okay, I'm going back to Liverpool now. Yeah, but, it's that thing of we've got 97 points with the team that we've got so how much more bringing someone in is it going to improve the team that makes any you've got 97 points like that's a yeah. record in its own don't really see yeah. any yeah. key angles that no, they need to show no they still got Phil Foden to bring in I yeah. mean heavy he bought in what a player as yeah, well to bring no, yeah, Foden's good. bad but yeah. Baller Foden's Baller. bad Baller. And, um, we were talking like yeah centre back they've got options there anyway really so mm. Yeah, but we say that they've got options. We're talking about because Liverpool are going to run them closer again, yeah. you would expect, yeah? So they haven't got company now. You can't, I don't think that Otamendi is of the level of company. Of, of, of company. You need oh. to bring in another man that's... I know, I know. Because you've got Laporte that's going to play there. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see if they do mm. really target anyone. I know Pep will feel... Man City have got the money to go and get who they want, really. Mm. Yeah. So it's... it's really Pep will know, Pep, innit? Yeah, Pep, Pep, Pep will know. I, I, think, I think with Pep as well, I think um, kind of his philosophy, I guess, in the past has always been... I know he doesn't... Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I read somewhere he doesn't teach defending or doesn't coach defending mm. because when you think of his teams, they always have the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They it's... always have the ball. So do they need... Uh, uh, a, a you know a, a centre back that's of the quality of a, a guy that a, a company really yeah. do they really need a guy like that yeah. I mean he didn't play that many games last season no because they got Stones in it yeah, so yeah. him and Stones they play like yeah, to be fair, roughly they got, they the got same Stones, amount Stones, Laporte the company Otamendi Mangala's back this year yeah they've got enough I think they've got enough okay, I know I know yeah. they're not <laughs> like you're, you're not looking at world class okay. centre backs yes but they've got enough there with Stones, Laporte uh, so basically, City don't need to strengthen well, in any areas. I, I mean, they've, again, they, they amassed a hundred. You know, well, what was it? When's Silver points? going? Next so, this uh, season. Next, yeah, this ne- season next year. Okay, okay. okay. They, they got Bernardo Silva. They got yeah, they, yeah, they got they, yeah, yeah, they. Yeah, yeah, their midfield I mean, is they're, mad. They got yeah. I don't think Sane's still, still there. Yeah, Sane's still there. Even though there was talk of him yeah, going. So, there's yeah. Sterling's twenty six. Yeah, Sterling there. Jesus Aguero. Five. Yeah. Four? Yeah, Aguero's always scoring them. Aguero's always yeah. So, yeah, nah, I, don't, I personally don't think they need to bring anyone in. No, not really. They right. might do, but they've already got Rodri in, they got him in early. Yeah. And they've done it's their been. business. Yeah. So, let us know, do you think that City need to, I think that they need to bring in a centre-back. These two don't agree. What do you think? Let us know. But Chelsea, boys, so what are we saying about Chelsea? Well, do they need to strengthen? Well, obviously, they can't bring anyone in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, if they need to go. Yeah, there's no even point chatting yeah, about so Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, it's really just for Lamps to find out and figure out his best 11, his best 15 or 16. Yeah. Well, and then, I mean, even though they can't necessarily sign anyone, they mm. still have areas. That, like, for example, yeah. they still need a striker. Yeah. Like, because you can't start the league with uh, uh, Giroud. Yeah. The, the well, old, I know at, at Tammy Abraham's gone back. That's it. Tammy yeah. Abraham scored 25 or 26 goals was in his last two seasons. I know it's at a championship level, but he is a goal scorer. Yeah. So yeah. It's just giving him a chance, really. Now. Yeah. yeah, Lampard would do that yeah. as well, wouldn't it? Because Giroud, like you said, Giroud's probably about 32 now. But, but, yeah. but going back to that, though, are we then saying that he's going to come in and be a 20 goal striker well, in, in, in the Premier yeah. League? When he was at Chelsea, the season, I think there was a season he got. So he, he started the season, I think it was not last season, season before. No, this, sorry, last season he started. It. So at the beginning of the last season he started this with Chelsea, then he went on loan. If they oh, remember yeah. That. Yeah, 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 he went yeah. on loan mid yeah. I didn't the season. remember that. Yeah. And he weren't doing. He weren't pulling on shoes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't. Yeah. To be fair, he, was starting, he wasn't starting every game, mm-hmm. to, to be fair to him. And oh, they've still got uh, Batshuayi too. Mm, that's a good point. He's a very good striker. Yeah. Oh, I don't rate him. No, I no. Think, I, I personally think they let Batshuayi go out on loan again, and I think they Have will they? go with Giroud and Tammy Abraham. That's just my gut feeling. That's what do, you, I, do you think? Oh, I, really? think, I, I think I think they've got to give Tammy Abraham a chance now. He is a Chelsea player through and through. Yeah. In terms of his but they, but they spent money on um, um, Batshuayi. Though they I spent mean, money yeah, on him. But if you look at him, is he convincing? No, he ain't. Man, I don't. Re- I don't. I think he's anything. I, I think you've got to give Tammy Abraham a chance because. As a as a youth system, you're looking at it like if you can't give Tammy Abraham a chance now when they've not spent any money, they can't spend any money and they can't yeah. bring any players. Well yeah. When will yeah. they ever give these yeah. guys a chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. the guy's proven himself when he's been uh, any you know the level. Of course, it's not Premier League, but he's proven himself two years in a, in a row that he can play and can score. So they've got to give him a chance. But this is what I mean. 
going back to the beginning of the show where John is saying that Chelsea are going to finish top four and we're having these conversations yeah. no, no, where where their, where their goals coming from we're, we're yeah. unsure because you're saying you can't start with Giroud yeah. and then we're talking about Batshuayi. Abraham and Batshuayi yeah, I like Batshuayi I, 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 I think he's a good player very very good player and he well, kinda, he's going to get you the goals Batshuayi's not I scoring you 20 goals a season there is no chance I, I think <laughs> if you're looking at look at, look at the other Premier League top strikers Batshuayi you know. is not in there He's not. I think not. Be, I, I think be, be, between Giroud and Abatshuayi, I think that's a and you've got um, um, Tammy Abraham. I think it's just the way that they play. You know what I think it is? There's something with sitting in this seat because I'm getting bare <laughs> wild shots from this seat over here. Oh, He's man. about to say yeah. Giroud and Abatshuayi can, can lead them from to the to the top four. No, they can't. Chelsea will finish up for this season. Yeah. My guy's mad. Chelsea He's mad. Chelsea, I'm not even a Chelsea fan. Yeah. Chelsea no, I, I, I can hear Chelsea finishing the top four because, like I said, year in, year out, it always seems Chelsea, to do something. They did it last season, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, <laughs> with Hazard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> with Hazard. With Hazard. But, but, with Hazard. I, just I just can't see them strikers being deadly enough without the thing. And Hazard is... And they won the Europa League while you're with Hazard. Yeah, right? but Hazard... Yeah, yeah, just Hazard leave it. Let it go. Support striker. Hazard can play up top by himself. Hazard can play on the wing. Hazard we swore about it last week yeah. Hazard was winning games on know, his own yeah. because the, the difference like some people will be like oh we want Pogba to do what Hazard's doing all of that stupidness they're different players Pogba's not going to dribble past five men mm. and score mm. but Hazard will mm. do you know what I'm saying and, and Hazard was that. doing that that's that. why and Giroud Pogba's not a striker Hazard is a striker <laughs> slash second striker slash, slash you know, winger yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pogba's it's, a deep player and a central midfielder who can also so Pogba's essentially a box to box midfielder 100% yeah. who's so skilled that he can 100%. put him in other positions and he can still he's do that the job good of the player. Yeah, yeah, but exactly if, if you're player. looking at what he should be he's a box to box midfielder what about their defence then Chelsea do they need to strengthen in defence I think it's, it's an age in defence so like again I think they've got, well, they've got Christiansen who's yeah, the, like, the youngest they've but got, the rest of them I think um, they've got Rudiger He's uh, 20, Rudiger. yeah. Rudiger's yeah, decent. Rudiger's, Rudiger's decent. decent. Alon- 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 Alonso's decent. Yeah. Alon- but he, again, he's getting older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's he's right Alonso's decent. Name? I saw Alonso last year. He looked very sketchy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't look that Do you know what? I say. I think he had a good first half yeah, of the two, season. Yeah, second half ago, of the yeah. season. Two years ago, three years ago, he was possibly the best. Best left Yeah, yeah. Last year he looked a bit shaky. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. I but agree. They've got Zappa Costa, yeah, right? Zappa Costa. and they've still got what's his name, um, Aspilicueta, who's Aspilicueta. getting a little bit older. Yeah, as but well. he's still good. He's still yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still bring him in. They got, um, I think Frank Lampard yesterday was saying that they got Kurt Zuma, and they're not looking to let him go back out on loan ever yeah, yeah. again. He's like, I like Kurt Zuma. He's going to fight for his place, and you get games. I like, so I like Zuma. Zuma's yeah. there. So they, they got players. they've got Hudson Odoi. Yeah, Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi. He'll he'll be playing games for sure next season. There's Loftus Cheek will be playing more. Even though he gets injured a little bit too much for liking, but he'll be playing more. So this is why I'm not that fearful of okay you, you might laugh at Tammy Abraham you might laugh at Giroud but they've got the basis of a ve- no got, no let's be Kante. clear I was laughing at Batshuayi more ba- than anything and ba- Batshuayi ba- and Giroud combo them man ain't doing bits sorry it's not happening it's not happening it's not happening anyway look, but but look we're saying that they're They've got places, but surely Chelsea can strengthen. They, they, well, they can't, but yeah. there's areas that they can strengthen, yeah, they man. To, they, yeah, there's well, areas well, that they, so they can... Lampard like, needs to play, um, uh, going back to strengthening, it's also about being smart and being cute with your players that you've got. You need to make sure that um, you know your best defensive midfielder, i.e. the best defensive midfielder in the league, is playing. Kante, Kante plays in playing the right... Yeah, position. yeah, yeah. Lampard so will do that, that, though. stupidness of, yeah. of playing... Um, you know, uh, what was his name again? Jorginho. Jo- jo- yeah, 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 that's going to go out the window. Yeah, that's going to go out the window. So, but then you've got like a crowd in the field now because you've got Drinkwater, Barkley, you've got Kante, you've got Barkley, mm. you've got uh, Kovacic. Yeah. Did, yeah. Did they sign him? Yeah, yeah, they signed him, yeah. So you've got a really crowd and in the field. As well. And then Pulisic. And yeah. then you've yeah. also got like guys like, um, what's it, Harry, is that? No, it's not Harry Wilson. What's the young guy? Oh, the, uh, the one that was at Leicester, Mason, Barnes. Mason, no, no, not how, Mason Mount. Oh, Mason Mount, back. Yeah. back in and they've got a lot of players so players. that's what I said to you about they just don't know their team yet and I think that will cost them going, going into the first 10 games I don't think whatever. John thought this thing yeah. through no, when no, he no, talked no, about no, Chelsea no, top no, four no 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 what I, no, what I looked at I didn't even look at the manager because Chelsea you know we need, need to look at the managers let's be honest in, 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 if you look at throughout their success it's like they've always had a good enough team or squad mm. to compete yeah yeah to compete definitely to compete, and I think that's all you need to do. To in this league, you just need to be competitive. You don't, you don't need to have the yeah, yeah, the true, best, true. The I, I hear that. You know what I'm saying? So they don't. So granted, yeah, Chelsea haven't got the best strike force. 
but they've got a good enough squad who have won the league before. Mm. In the last five years, that squad has won the league. Yeah. Yeah, but how many of those players now? Because even Louise, now, when I was just going through it, how many of those Louise, players Aspen were there? Lata, Christiansen. They, he, what, Christiansen uh, Kante, weren't there when they won the league? Christiansen wasn't there. No, Kante, no Kante, Kante was... Kante won the league. Yeah, Kante was there. Yeah. Christiansen uh, weren't there. Wasn't there. Uh, who else was there? No uh, Hazard. No Hazard anymore. No Hazard. They, they still got William. He's still there. Don't know how. Yeah, yeah. Uh, William's still go. there. Um, Pedro's there. Pedro's still there. He won the league with... Yeah. Like, so there's Pedro's still, there's been still about an element as well. of like, you're at Chelsea and it's, we, we are winners. Like, yeah, they got, they got players. I, I, I don't dispute that. They got players. And they'll be competitive. And I just think it's just the way Chelsea has always been. They've always been like that. Even mm. even when in the Lampard and the, um, in, in like the Lampard and, and like the Drogba days and Terry days, that core team used to... Tr- or well, that core unit used to drag its team through and I just feel they've still got that there with the players that have been there and been successful. Yeah. So. All right. So that will wrap up that part of the show mm. where we're talking about the key areas. Um, do you, f- well, it's not even point even mentioning Chelsea can't strengthen. So, so but it's just, just really, so in terms of Chelsea then, it's just key areas that they feel that they need to understand more. I'd say sort out the DM position. Probably sort out of the midfield, you know, understand your best players and understand or establish who your best striker is. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. probably two yeah. areas. And do you lot agree with Pat on that one?